Hi, this is Crystal Shaw. This is Richard Shaw. And um, we are just here. Um, we're actually a miracle standing before you all to share our story. Um, we know that uh, it's nobody but God that allowed us to be here today. Absolutely. And he wanted us to share this story because he left us here to really share what took place uh, in this storm here in Atlanta. So I'm going to let my husband start off about uh, what really started happening and the encounter, because we did have a, a powerful encounter that I'm going to come back and share with you. So I want Richard to really start off and share like what we was doing before the storm happened. Absolutely. Um, well, I'm, <laughs> I'm grateful. Um, yes. I will say that, that uh, my family and I, we're still living, we're still breathing, we have our health. Um, we're actually in good spirit yes. in the midst of turmoil and tribulation and trials and um, wow, where, where should I start? Mm. Um, I'll, I'll say this, normally and typically I don't take storms serious. I, I'm 34 years old mm -hmm. and um, you know for the last 34 years when there's ever a mention of a storm or um, severe weather I kind of take it lightly because nothing has ever happened right. um, when I'm at home or, or whatnot. And um, this particular storm that took place on um, March the 20th on Monday night was different um, from the standpoint that we know this first of all lightning flashing and right. we didn't get any alerts or anything to no let alerts. us know you know a, a this particular storm was coming but um, my wife and I we noticed that the lightning was flashing as a liken into a heartbeat and normally when you see lightning um, or hearing you know thunderstorm it, it uh, take place and then it'll wait for maybe 45 right. seconds to two minutes and then it'll flash again. But uh, we noticed something different That's about different. this lightning because it was literally flashing like your heartbeat. Mm. And I looked at my wife, I said, baby, <laughs> um, turn the lights off, dim the lights, let's look outside and, and see what this is. So we turned the lights off, mm. um, we were still looking outside, looking at the lightning, and my wife mentioned that, hey, listen, this is something different. Mm -hmm. And maybe about uh, 20 minutes later, we start hearing hail. Mm -hmm. um, this hail was pouring down rapidly. I mean- With no it, rain. No rain. Normally you get rain before a tornado, no it, rain. Exactly. Yeah. It, it sounded literally like golf balls. Um, or bigger. Some, exactly, <laughs> you can even yeah. say baseballs. Um, but it was just pounding yeah. and just, just tearing our home up. And we was like, wow, we never experienced, never experienced this type that. of hell before. So at that very moment, I told my wife, let's go and get the children. Yeah. They were asleep at the time. Right. Um, so we got our children, woke them up. Um, and my wife, she got Serenity, I got Ezekiel. Yeah. And we took some cover. Uh, mind you, before all this happened, happened um, I was getting ready to practice my bass right. guitar. <laughs> and yeah. like I told you earlier, normally I don't take storm seriously, Serious. but yeah. I was getting ready to practice the bass. And when we saw the lightning, we heard the hell, obviously I put the bass down <laughs> and I, I grabbed my children. That's the most important thing in right. my family. And we went downstairs and the hell just started getting louder and louder. louder. And we was like, okay let's take shelter yeah. um, and, and at that time I gave instructions to my family hey yeah. listen look, we're going in the bathroom we're going yeah. in the downstairs bathroom and we're getting in the bathtub yeah. did you want to say anything um, I mean at that moment uh, God was our warning like the lightning was a warning from heaven take shelter and if we didn't have guidance from the Lord giving us in that ear to hear what the Lord was saying in spite of all of what we were seeing and hearing, uh, being obedient to his voice is mm -hmm. so important. Yes. And as um, soon as we got in the bathroom, Richard shut the doors, we got in position. I had Ezekiel in my arms. Um, he had serenity in his arms. And as uh, soon as he shut the doors, that's when we started hearing like windows. Hold up, baby. Oh, you have to mention about 
God telling you to place the Bible oh, yes. in front of the bathroom That's in right. the hallway. Absolutely. Uh, as we was grabbing our belongings, um, the Lord said, grab the Bible. And he said, put it right there in front of your door. And he said, watch me do a miracle. And he said, when I'm done, I'm going to give you instructions. And that right there, thank you so much for reminding me because that was a, that was a, a God moment as well. Uh, when we was in there, like I said, we shut the door and we hearing all this come at us. I'm in the back, Richard in the front, holding serenity, and I'm hearing things just jerking. Literally, we felt our home, oh my God, we felt our home just lifting as though it was going to take off. And my prayers, and Richard can share his prayers, in an earthly language, my prayers was, Lord, fight for us. I said, heaven, fight for us. I said, Lord, release our angels and fight for us because yes. this is a moment where we need heaven to fight for us. Yes. Yes. And literally the moment um, that we was crying out for help, we, we just went in tongues. We couldn't even talk no more in an yes. earthly language because yes. we knew that this was Thank a you, spiritual Lord. war. Thank you, and Lord. I said, God, if you allow us to live, don't just let us live. Let our whole town live. Let every animal Absolutely. live. Lord, let us live so that we can share your testimony in the midst. And soon as, um, you know, we was crying out, uh, we l literally had an encounter in that bathroom. And I want I want you to hear me clear. When we was in the bathroom, I literally seen God's angels, God's angels come around us. They had their arms. They was locked like this and they protected us. And I'm seeing them. I said, Jesus, thank you, Lord. They are here. And the, 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 the moment that I was seeing them, God said in the midst of the storm with us hearing everything, our windows shattering. Um, think of some more stuff. The wind. Talk so, about it. So. I, I, I'm going to say this speaking from a man. That was the most terrifying, the scariest thing I've ever experienced ever. in my life. I was talking to a good friend of mine, uh, Tony Fields, and um, I appreciate you uh, for, you know, just encouraging me yes. as a man to let me know that it's okay to be scared and fearful yes. at times. Yeah. But I, I, I tell you, I, I was just it was the scariest moment of my life yes. because my life flashed before it flashed me. flashed right before us. And, and honestly, I, I you, didn't Jesus. know if we were going to survive. You, but let me just say this. At that time, the Thank moment you, of, of hearing a tornado, many people have heard before, a tornado sounds like a train. Yes, it does. It does. But times 50. Come on. Come on. Come on. It literally was yes. that yes. loud. I mean, our ears was piercing, throbbing. Um, one thing I will say about my children in yes. the midst of this, oh my, my daughter's yes. name is Serenity, which means the state of tranquility or peace. Yes. My son's name is Ezekiel, which means God strengthened us. In that very moment, we had peace. In that very moment, God was strengthening right. us. Yes. At that very moment. At that very moment. And I'm just thankful and grateful to God, as my wife said. Yes, yes the angels of the Lord was, was protecting us. They were there. They were there, they was protecting there. us in the midst of this storm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord. We usually use storms as metaphors, but that literally happened to us, and we're just so grateful and thankful to be able to give our testimonies yeah. and to let you know, let people know. Let people know. We are not afraid of the gospel of, of the Christ. Gospel we will Christ. promote Jesus Christ yes. and continue to be ambassadors to let people know Jesus Christ still does miracles. He still does miracles. Our God does, still performs miracles and we're yes. just so grateful, so grateful to tell of what actually took place. Yes, yes. And right before the storm ceased, um, the Lord spoke with a with a with a, a voice. He said, Crystal, he said, I'm going to let you all live. He said, but I want you to tell my people. He said, let them know that I am God and I still do miracles and I'm coming back soon. He said, I'm coming for a church without spots or wrinkles. And he said, let them know to get their house in order. And he left. And I said, yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. And the storm ceased. As that storm ceased, immediately we called 911. <laughs> and 
And we also called our pastors, Pastor yes. Billy and Deanne. We're just so grateful for our so pastors. Um, it, it was, it was, I won't say it was ironic or a coincidence. It was God. It was God. Pastor Deanne and Pastor Billy usually don't have their cell phone or their devices, iPads on them around that time of night. And they just so happened to have it near them. And we were able to call them and talk to them. Wow. They guided us. Um, through that moment, you yeah. know, emotionally we were torn. Yes. Um, however, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. I, I, I can't I can't say enough mm -hmm. about God's grace, God's his grace. mercy. Mm -hmm. We weren't spared because we're so good. We're not perfect. That's we right. make mistakes. Make mistakes. But what I do know, there's purpose. There is purpose. God has purpose for you. For you, for ourselves, he has purpose for this world. And we're living today to give that testimony. Yes. And yes. I'm just so grateful to God. Wow. You want to talk about, you know, the damage that we saw from mm. the tornado. It, it was... <sighs> <laughs> they, they told us a couple of days after the tornado that it was categorized as an EF2 yeah. at minimum, mm. which means an EF2, for those who are not familiar with the ratings or in tornado, an EF2 can literally kill, kill you, you. Yes. from the debris, from the actual mm. tornado itself, the My funnel. God. My God. It can literally kill you and people have died. Many people have died from even at minimum an EF2 category. Yeah. The damage in our home our home got at least about 60% damage from where the storm, it ripped bricks, bricks off our off. home. The front of our home is all brick. <laughs> it ripped <laughs> bricks off. Like literally <laughs> ripped bricks. It, it, it ripped frames from our windows. It, but it the damaged roof. the roof. It just is blown, blown away. <laughs> completely damaged. Yeah. Um, the windows shattered and, and our, it, mm. so, I wish I can show you pictures and we'll, we've already posted yes. actually some pictures on yes. Facebook to really show you the damage that was done to really show the mercies of God in the midst of that. You want to talk about some more damages? Yeah. Except and for the room we was in. That's what I want to make sure. All that damage that Richard is talking about and that's only just a little bit, but the damage did not touch where the Bible was. The Bible didn't even have water on it and it was literally raining inside of our home. It was in the same spot that I put that Bible in uh, on the floor and that was a miracle within itself for the Bible to be exactly where I put it because I was obedient to God. Everything that was around us was not touched and that's just the power part of it. I wanna say this, a manager picture somebody having a grenade or a bomb mm. and they're letting oh, wow. it go, exploding your home. That's the way our home looked when it was all said and done. Yeah. Like, like we went to war, battle. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is unbelievable of the amount of dam damage. As a matter of fact, to put it in perspective, we had a gesture to come out and she said, this is gonna be a couple of hundreds of thousands of dollars to fix. Mm -hmm. That lets you know the damage, the structure damage, yeah. furniture damage, windows, mm -hmm. um, outside. It, it was just absolutely, uh, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We're just so grateful. Yes. Grateful to God. And we appreciate everybody that reached out to us. Yes, we really do. You, you really don't know how much people love you until you get into circumstances like this to really know, hey, listen, I'm for you. We, I can't even begin to tell you how many people have reached out to us, yes. shown us In love, so seeds and our church and family, our, church family our, our friends, oh, our family. Yes, yes. I mean, I, I can't even begin to name everybody right yes. now because I miss somebody, uh, not on purpose, yeah. but I, I can tell you one thing. We are so grateful for everybody. everybody. Everybody that has reached out to us, shown us love, um, sown, you know, seeds, um, monetary wise, um, just, just been a blessing to us, clothes and yes. 
we say thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of our heart, the Shaw family, we, we're just so appreciative. Yes. And as I wrap this up, Richard and I, um, this is what the Lord wants to leave with you. It was a message in that moment, but I want you to take note, and I wrote it down, i written it down, and he said, and I have to read this off so I can make sure I give it, give it to you clearly. He said, the Lord thy God, I am awakening the church because their faith has been challenged. He said, I'm awakening the church because their belief has been challenged. He said, I'm awakening the church because they have gotten complacent in their walk uh, with me for my return. He said, I'm assigning territories for believers. He said, because I can trust them because they will share my miracles and not take it for granted. He said, let them know that I am God and I still do miracles and I'm coming back soon. He gave uh, details about Atlanta. He said Atlanta was a territory that needed to be awakening. He said, with their walk with me, he said, you have heard of me, of my miracles, but yet have been introduced of who I am. He said, I'm coming through territories that the foundation has been shook with sin. And he said, I am going to leave warriors to give those messages. He said, because I can trust the God in them, you must share my miracles. He said, let them know that I am God. I still do miracles and I'm coming back soon. He said, you will have encounters and encouragement and encouragers along the way. Separate yourself from sin and, and separate yourself from sin and learn of me and I will teach you true holiness because I am God and I am coming back without, for a church without spot or wrinkles. And this is the last part. He said, the experience that you just encountered, which all of us in that neighborhood, he said it was a territory I had an encounter moment in our bathroom as soon as we got to the hotel. I have never had this encounter moment. My tongues went into a, what would you say? Richard was hearing it. I, I, my body just went into a whole nother transformation. I, I would say it, it reminded me of, it was a heavenly language speaking in unknown tongues, but there was a melody to it. She was singing and tongues, which I've never heard before in my life. Yes, more like an African type of tongue. But he said, to meet your foundation, you will hear songs, new tongues and new foundations. The songs will be prophetic that will be from your ancestors. He said, the ones who had the faith and the ones who believed. You will continue to have encounters like that from me. Hear my voice. Don't be shaken by the next. He said, Richard and Crystal Shaw, you have the faith to get through, says the Lord. You will believe in me even greater. Remember my word and let it rest in your heart and your children shall be blessed from it in their obedience. And this last part is for the pastors. He said, pastors, let your church become a hospital. He said, because people are needing a place of a place to be healed. He said, I'm giving you everything that you need in this time. And I will give you a new word, says the Lord, that will roll off your lips like warm milk to their souls. He said, make preparation for your people whose faith and belief has been shaken. He said, um, I will work miracles right before their eyes and they will know again that I am God, I still do miracles, and I'm coming back soon. And that's our testimony on today.